Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video and a quick video on Spell. Um, I should have probably covered this already um, uh, longer before, but it's just um, in general, if you look at Spell right now, it's a bit of a weird crypto, right? It's, um, it's a bit of a difficult crypto to analyze, much more difficult to trade as well. Um, the thing is, is that it is quite manipulated, all right? And that doesn't, I mean, I'm not, I'm, that, that, that has no value to me, all right? It's manipulation. It could be bullish, could be bearish. But if you look at Spell and you look at the volume distribution and you see a lot coming from UEE, 4E, BTC Turk, Paribu, iCrypX, usually there is manipulation going on, all right? And the thing always is, and I'm, I'm, I do find it important to tell you that, the thing is, is that if you trade a manipulated coin, manipulators will make money, all right? So that means that a portion in this zero-sum market of retail will lose money. So if you're not, not an experienced trader, if you don't know what you're doing, I would just stay away from this, honestly. But all right, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on the situation right now, because right now, I mean, obviously, Spell is still very bullish. Uh, Bitcoin is also getting some strong momentum here, or strong momentum, at least on the short term. Um, I doubt that that's helping Spell. I mean, obviously, it, it does help that the markets are relatively bullish for the initial move. But at this moment, Spell is not very correlated to Bitcoin. So if we look at some, some Spell-specific st uh, numbers, what you'll see is that at this moment, the open interest is still increasing like crazy, all right? So that means that more and more money is in open positions right now. You can see there's a lot of spot buying as well, but there's a lot of futures buying as well, right? Even though we have some, some big liquidations. Um, and something like this, if you see a move like this, like I've seen that countless times before, that is pure manipulation. Um, but in this case, with the open interest going up, with Bitcoin being relatively strong, I do think it's most likely will go up here. <laughs> that That's just, I mean, even though it's manipulated, at some point of time, this is going to crash like, like it did before, all right? So the last two times, uh, Spell fell down 30%. And from here, it dropped down, well, let's say another 30%. So at some point of time, we're going to get that crash. Um, and it's probably rather sooner than later. But at this moment that I'm making this video, it's still very bullish, all right? We're heading into this major resistance level here at uh, 0 0.16 and 0 0.17 and a half cents. As you can see, historically, that's a very strong level. Um, so what we need to see is how it reacts to that level, all right? I think we can move higher into that. I do expect some resistance, but that's normal with a, with a resistance level this strong. Um, but then the main question becomes, all right, well, can we actually eventually break above that level? And the main level to break above is a really 0 0.17 and a half cents. Because if we can break above that and you look at, for example, the, the, the weekly chart right here, then you, you very quickly start to think about 0 0.3, 0 0.25 um, and potentially even higher. All right. So, so then the possibilities are, are absolutely endless. But for now, we don't know, all right, because for now, we're just waiting for how Spell reacts to that level. I think we will get there. Um, and at that level, the main thing to watch is what will the open interest do? And, well, ultimately, what will Bitcoin do? Because if the open interest keeps increasing while we hit that level, then I do think we have a good chance to actually break above that and to start rallying up to, well, ultimately, well, first of all, 0 0.002 cents. Um, or 0 .0 0 0.2 cents, excuse me. Um, and then after that, 0 0.23 cents. So that is a possibility. But at this moment, I find it hard to believe that we can do something like that. But the thing is, is that if we hit that level and the open interest is still increasing, then we will break above that. I think it's a bit more likely, but that could also be a very limited mindset. I think it's most likely that we'll hit that level, but that we'll then see an open interest decrease and a sell-off, which will result into a consolidation. And then that consolidation could result in another rally, but that's something we'll see in the future, all right? That's what I think is most likely, all right? So I'll tell you that I think that's most likely, but the thing is, is that uh, most of you probably should not trade this, all right? So be careful if you do want to do that. Uh, but those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.